it's just been a great journey for us, and uh, this is just the adventure starting right now for um, this group of young ladies and um, this program. A lot of tradition we're starting, um, a lot of records we're breaking, um, including mine. So, but I still love them. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it's just been fun. It's it's great to be able to. Um, we had already accomplished one of the things, winning in postseason, because we got into the semifinals. So we knocked that off our our list to start this game and uh, just taking this game for the first time. And it's just exciting. I don't even know what to say. And I'm never a person without words. So it, it's just fun. She was a beast today. Um, she just she went out there. We've been working on. She's come in extra every day, just working on her moves with Coach Caldwell, just trying to get better. And um, we knew that we knew what she had, and it was just her believing and in, in getting out there and working hard on it. And she's paid off. Um, she did the moves. She's been working on the up and under. She's been working on crashing the boards. It's hard work outside of practice is what's what's ma making her better. And and just the drive. She wants to be good and she wants to help this team out. It's my last year here and um, just taking this program from where it was when I was a freshman to where it is now. I just don't want to stop playing. I just give it my all every single game because I know that the next game could be my last. So I think that this group of girls that we have really believe in our seniors and, and they really play for us. They play hard for us. And as long as we play together as a team, I think that we can go as far as we would love to go. Angela? Um, for me personally, it's just not being satisfied. I'm staying hungry. I'm not satisfied with time for conference, you know, I won't be satisfied with just, um, you know, going and making it to the finals, you know, I'll, we need to keep breaking records and we need to go to the NCAA tournament. Um, for me, it's, I might get emotional. Um, seven years ago when they gave me an opportunity to come back and take over a program where I played, I mean, this is huge. Only a few coaches get to come back to their schools and play for and coach for where they played and to be able to turn this program and and I could probably truthfully say it we were the worst program in the conference when we took over seven years ago and where we have gone and the administration support Bobby Williams support now Dana Gibson support it's it's just got so much future a bright future for us and um, they gave us the opportunity to go out get the kids and um, and just the fight and believing in us and um, I want this program to keep keep going. I bleed orange. I'm a Bearcat, and um, we're gonna keep fighting. So um, we're not finished. We we don't want to finish. We're gonna finish strong. And you know our football team's done it. Our baseball team's done it. Volleyball team's done it. And now the pressure's on us. So we had big shoes to fill. So we couldn't keep being behind them. We have to step up to the plate. So. Bobby Williams didn't tell me that though, but no <laughs> pressure on him. <laughs> I definitely felt like we left it all out there. We fought a, a hard battle. Um, definitely give credit to Sam Houston who came up with the with the winning, you know, score at the end. But uh, I'm definitely proud of my team, and we really put in all our effort in there. And you know, there's you win some, you lose some. I said that the whole season, and that's part of basketball. Uh, right now, it didn't hit me yet of the loss, but I mean, we went out without a fight. Um, I'm proud of my team as well. They went out there and we didn't give up. So that's the big thing to me. We didn't give up. You know, we just mentioned that Khalees trying to break it. it. I believe it would be 126 pounds. Yeah, yeah and, and the thing is, I, I think, knock on wood, um, I think she's going to have a chance to break that record if we get into postseason play. I know it won't be in the WNIT. You know, we're 21 and 10 on the year but hopefully we'll get an invitation from the basketball invitational tournament, something along that line, where we can continue to play in the postseason. We deserve to play in the postseason. Our RPI is good, and we've won 21 on the year. So you've got to give these young ladies a lot of credit. You know, we, we heated Stephen F up. At, they had 26 turnovers. We did what we had to do, but you got to give Brittany Martin a lot of credit. Brittany Martin's a great player and one of the elite players in our league. And, and you know, Gia drew her, and then uh, I think uh, the Johnson kid, number three, is a great point guard. And, and Ren battled her, and she's physical. I mean, you look, they had 15 turnovers, we had 13. That tells you, whoever's watching the game, that there's great guard play out there. When you have that physical play, and there's only that few turnovers, 
I mean, seriously, that's that's great guard play. And, and you got to give credit again to, to uh, Sam with uh, Evelyn. And then, uh, you know, again, Brittany handled the ball. I think Brittany had 11 assists. I mean, she, she had another great, great, great team. I'm sitting here looking at two great seniors, and I'm not going to wear my, I mean, it's hard, and I'm going to have to talk to them in the locker room, and I may be talking to them the last time if we don't get into postseason, okay? But the thing is, I can't be disappointed in my team because my team played hard, and we played hard right down the final second. And sometimes the ball goes in, sometimes it doesn't. And today, it didn't go in as much as we used to, but I'm proud of these guys. So I have to take them in anyway.